guys welcome back to my channel so guys i want to show you how you can schedule your video to premiere so all you have to do you have to go to your gallery when you go to your gallery let me for example i want to i want to uh, i want to schedule my video i will pick on any of my video in my gallery then i share i share to my youtube when i go to my youtube i write title any title of anything any title you want to write discuss you want to discuss discussion you want to discussion you see this private you click on this private when you click on this private you have to go you have to click on this schedule the down your schedule you click on this schedule when you click on this schedule today is nine let me put my video at nine then you go to the time you want to put let me put my video at uh, six o'clock in the afternoon this one is the after this one is a.m and this one is p.m i put it in p.m all right like this i okay it when i okay it it's here already scheduled march 9 2021 six o'clock p.m today all right then you go to next you nest it when you nest it you upload it when you upload it after finish uploading just be patient for a while all right guys please do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel you you understand you understand that all of us are once please subscribe to my youtube channel all right it's loading just patient all right Please drop a comment, drop a comment on the comment section below. All right, so guys, it's already loaded. It's already loaded. So we have to click on this three dot beside him. When we click on this three dot beside, you see edits. You edit it. When you edit it, you click on this schedule. When you click on the schedule, it said set at premiere. You set it at premiere. When you set it at premiere, you see this arrow up, 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 upside. You click on that arrow, it will take you back. Then you save it. This save with the blue line. You save it. All right. All right, guys. It's already it written premiere already. You see? When you want to start, it will start. When the time of 6 o'clock, when you get to 6 o'clock, it will start. Then we move to live chat international you understand so let's begin all right i hope you guys understand me thank you very much for your understanding good evening everyone just want to pass this information to you about how facebook is managing and is spying on every application on our phones ignorantly we left this thing on unknowingly too this is our Facebook application. You click on it. Then when you click on it, on my phone at the uppermost part, there are these three parallel lines highlighted in green. This ones. You click on it. When you click on it, you stroke up, stroke up, go to privacy and setting. This privacy and setting. You click on it. When you click on it, you screw up. Screw up. You go to setting again. From private as setting, you go to setting. This setting. You click on it. From there, you screw up. You screw up. You screw up. But you see your Facebook information here as highlighted in green. Your Facebook information as I let it in green. Now, having said that, you now assess your information. Activity login of Facebook activity, account ownership control, download your information, transfer or copy. You now click on this of Facebook activity as I let it. When I click, it brings me to this place. Can you see all this application? Can you see them? This application I visited on my phone. Can you see? 
this application I have for my phone, which I have visited in the recent past. Facebook store all the information and every activity then including sensitive, I mean sensitive information that has to do with banking or account details, financial information. It store everything here. The storage is beyond the logo you are seeing, but these are activities on my phone. At least I can highlight, I can see this. This is my Crowd1 account. This only Bible. This is uh, one of the applications. This is an Airtel application. This is my Luno account. This is my wallet, Bitcoin Luno account. These are everything, every damn thing I have on my phone as I'm doing. Without my knowledge, Facebook is storing the information. Then where do we go from here? You see, this clear history. You have to delete this history first. Open does not be safe in a class somewhere. But this is what you need to do. In as much as you know now, you are aware. You clear this history. You press on it. So you bring it to clear history. You ask you whether you want to clear or settle or cancel it. Now you want to clear it. Click on clear history. Can you see? Can you see where I used to have the logos before? And I have this. You have no availability to sue at this time. That means every activities it that to has been cleared. Now what do I do next? I will go to more option to avoid my application being monitored by Facebook subsequently. I go to more option here i click on it when i click on it i go to manage future activity i've deleted what i have before i want to manage how it's going to work as fault i click on it like this when i click on it it brings out this do i really want to manage it look at the one highlighted in blue and circle in green here I will now press on it. I will click manage. Now, can you see? At the inception, at the installation of this application on my phone, this feature of Facebook activity has been on unknowingly. All I knew that I just signed into Facebook and started using it. So I have to put this on off. 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 Can you see? Still asking me whether I want to turn off. They have to allow. I turn it off. Can you see now? It has been turned off. It just means going forward. Whatever you are doing on your phone cannot be monitored by Facebook. Thank you as you listen and watch. And please pass it to your friends and relatives so that they will have their privacy even on social media. God bless you. hi guys please i want to show you how you can create your playlist on youtube first you have to click on your youtube when you click on your youtube you go to your to your youtube channel when you go to your youtube channel you go to your video when you go to your video you pick any any of the video you pick any of the video you want to send you any of the video you want to create on your playlist then let me pick this one now let me pick this this three dot here you click on this three dot beside the video when you click on it you save it to playlist when you save to playlist this is my playlist that i have saved already so you see this blue line here it said new playlist on the plus new playlist so you click on that new playlist up there it said title so let me let me put title let me put my name there let me put joy for example i put joy you see this private you have to remove this private you put it on public because why you do, why 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 you want to put it on public because people will go there to watch your video so you create it look at create with the blue line is already there playlist created okay 
So what we do now, we'll go to playlists. When we go to playlist, it's here already. Look at it, joy. One video is there already. I hope you know, I hope you learn how to create playlist now. Look at it here. You can add other video, one hour video, two hour videos, five hour videos, ten hour video on your playlist. You understand? If you want to play, look at this red button here. You click on it. When you click on it, the video will just start playing by itself. You understand? So I want to show you how you can, how you will know how many, how you will know how many hours the video is. Like this video, if maybe if I put three or four video into this my playlist I created, I will show you. You click on this three dot beside the joy video, then you share. When you share, you see copy. When you copy, you have to go to Google. When you go to Google, you have to click. You have to click. You have to write. You have to. You have to uh, write a uh, playlist calculator. When you click on that playlist calculator, you click on YouTube playlist length. When you click on this YouTube playlist length, you place your hand here. When you place your hand here, the link you share on your fa on your uh, YouTube is here already. You click on the link. When you click on the link, you see this gel this uh this uh blue line with the arrow down where you can type something. Is there you click on it when you click on it it show it said one hour one hour one minute eight second one minute eight mm. second that is that is my video one minute eight second all right so I hope you guys understand what I did there I hope you guys understand it all right hi guys Today I want to teach you how you can clean your watch, your watch history. All right, let's move to YouTube. When you go to your YouTube, when you go to your when you go to your YouTube, when you get here, when you get to your YouTube, you click on time time wash. When you click on time wash, you click here watch time watch history. You click on this watch history. When you click on this one, you see this three dots up there. You click on it. It said history control. You click on that history control. It said clean wash history. You click on the wash history. You wash, you clean it. It said clean type history. You clean it. Then when you clean it, it's two, it's two ways. It's two way to, it's two way to, to and uh, clean your wash history. You know, so I want to show you the other one. When you get to this wash history here, when you get to this wash history here, you have to uh, you have to go to this three dots up here. When you go to this three dots up here, you go for setting. When you go for setting, you see this history and private and pri private tree. You click on it. When you click on it, you clear your history. When you clear your history, is Okay, so guys, I want to show you how how you can um, how you can check your public watch hour in in Google. So let's go to Google. When you come to, when you get to Google, you have to type YouTube Studio. When you type YouTube Studio, you you the first page with YouTube Studio, you type it. When you type, you see this arrow. Let me let me uh, let me bring it up so that you see what I'm doing. When you see this um, when you see this uh, um, dollars, the one that reads with dollars like S, don't we read, uh, read with dollars? You click on it. When you click on it, it will show you. When you click on it, it will show you. It will show you this. This is what we are looking for. You can read it. You can read what is inside here and see. 400 public wash hour. I only have 75 public wash hour. 
500 subscriber you understand this is where you will find your wash public wash history do you understand i hope you understand guys but if you do not understand you let me know if you don't do not understand you let me know thank you very much for your understanding